During a previous telecom bite entitled the electromagnetic spectrum, we establish what is meant by the term radio frequency. Let us now turn our attention to two terms which are used widely within mobile telecommunications and regularly cause confusion frequency bands and channel bandwidths. Taking Wi Fi as an example, this technology typically operates in one of three different frequency bands 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. Now, this doesn't mean that each Wi Fi network has been tuned to these specific radio frequencies, but rather allocated a channel in and around that frequency. For example, the diagram illustrates the 5 gigahertz frequency band that the Wi Fi networks are permitted to use. This ranges from 5.15 gigahertz at the lower end of the frequency band all the way up to 5.895 gigahertz. Now the frequency band is then subdivided into several channels which will then be utilized by the Wi-Fi network. In our example we have focused on channel 48 which is centered on the frequency 5.24 gigahertz. However it is not just this specific frequency which is used by the Wi-Fi, but instead channel 48 incorporates all frequencies between 5.23 and 5.25 gigahertz, and as such occupies 20 megahertz bandwidth, i.e. the difference between the first and last frequency band allocated to channel 48. Subdividing a frequency band into lots of channels has the advantage of enabling neighboring radio networks to operate on different channels, which ensures they do not cause interference to each other. However, allocating wider channels within a frequency band means higher data rates can be supported, in much the same way that a multi-lane highway can service more vehicles than a single lane road. For example, the 5 GHz band used by Wi-Fi can either be divided into 20 MHz, 40 MHz, 80 MHz or 160 MHz wide channels. Returning to the mobile technologies, these are now able to operate in numerous frequency bands and support various channel bandwidths. However, as can be seen in the diagram, each iteration of the technology has seen the maximum channel bandwidth increase, which is a major reason why they have been able to support ever higher data rates, a requirement if the networks are going to be able to support services such as ultra high definition video. In 4G and 5G networks, it is also possible to allocate multiple channels to a device at the same time to increase still further the available resource and thus drive up data rates. This is referred to as carrier aggregation. So, is this principle going to be extended into 6G, the mobile technology of the 2030s? And if so, what will be the frequency bands and the channel bandwidths in operation there?